Fox News alert. Shocking election results in the UK as the conservatives surprise pollsters and pundits on track to take a slight majority. Yup. Prime Minister David Cameron set for a second term for five years after beating the Labour Party's Ed Miliband. What does this victory mean for America? A lot, according to Frank Luntz. He's a pollster, Fox News contributor, and a wonderful person, live from London. All right, Frank, what does this mean? People watching at home, they're wondering why we're all over this. Why are we? Well, let me give you three reasons. Number one is that the pollsters, and thank God I now do communication, the pollsters got it wrong. The poll of polls had it at exactly 34 to 34 dead heat. What ended up happening is the conservatives won by five or even as many as six points. They expected a hung parliament. They did not know who would lead. The actual result is before this show is over, it is likely that David Cameron will be declared the, the undisputed uh, leader of the conservative party who will control parliament. And three is that it's very important for U.S. foreign policy. This will continue Britain's support for what the U.S. is doing to challenge ISIS, support for Israel. It's a very significant win for the U.S. and it's a very significant win for people who are right of center in Europe and in America. You also thought, you also brought up something else when we just spoke a second ago before we went on the air. And you think it's President Obama and David Axelrod. In what way? Well, I want to play you a clip because we were fortunate enough to be able to dial the British elections, the party leaders. I want to play you one clip from David Cameron because it'll sound remarkably similar to what the Republicans are saying in America. Remember, the higher the lines climb, the more favorable the result. Let's take a look. Our welfare system, in a way, it should be like a national club. It's made up of the contribution of hardworking British taxpayers. It cannot be right that migrants can turn up and claim full rights to this club straight away. So let's be clear what all these changes taken together will mean. EU migrants should have a job offer before they come here. UK taxpayers will not support them if they don't. Wow. That, that's Once again, go ahead. it's an... It's really high. It's a positive reaction because the conservatives focused on hardworking taxpayers. Labor did the same kind of Axelrod right. Obama class warfare campaign, and it doesn't work. In fact, I was listening to David Miliband, the Labor Party leader, using all this hopey, changey, pastel kind of language. The British people are tough and they're hardened, and frankly, they're somewhat cynical, and that language played so badly. You cannot recreate an American campaign in Britain, and it's a message to Barack Obama that his rhetoric may have worked in 2008, but it doesn't work in other places in 2015. And you said Axelrod actually had a gig there, uh, so he was trying to make that happen yes. over there like it happened over here. Hey, Frank Luntz, thanks so much. We'll look forward to that uh, formal announcement as Cameron's expected to have a huge day. Frank Luntz, thank you. Cheerio. <laughs> I'm not sure they actually say that. Uh,